Charred remains, all that's left of a 100 year old building. Firefighters battled the flames for four hours and 100 degree plus heat, eventually letting that fire burn itself out. New tonight, weather may be the cause of the massive fire seen from nearly 20 miles away. Our Megan McRoberts is live along Main Street in Canal Point, where firefighters remain tonight, seven hours after that fire broke out. Megan? And Kelly, fire crews have finally cleared the scene tonight. And did they have a challenging day? First, just dealing with the hot temperatures, then the sheer size of this fire. Fire crews estimate this building was about 20,000 square feet. And fire investigators are still working, though, tonight to determine what sparked this fire in this near century old building. Enormous flames spread quickly through this old abandoned wood framed warehouse. We had like 50, 60 foot flames, taller than the trees for sure. Nearby residents watching the flames bust through windows, the roof, even the floor. All the doors and stuff was broken. They started spraying the hose and the fire just popped right out. It said surprise. This was the old Granados furniture and produce store. It's a well known building to residents. Captain Rick Batchelor made the call not to send firefighters inside, knowing it was too risky. We knew that the structure was pretty much like a maze from the way it was uh, divided up. Walls even collapsing not far into the firefight. Fire crews let the building burn itself out and collapse on its own, making for a long, hot process. At 109 degree heat index and full bunker gear, these guys get exhausted fairly quickly. Firefighters using extra caution, taking more breaks, and frequently checking their vitals. Another challenge was getting enough water on the fire. The municipal water supply is a limitation because we're so far from the plant. It's a very rural area out here. Pumping in water from the nearby Palm Beach Canal. Investigators believe this could have all been sparked by lightning. It was pouring rain, lightning, and thundering, and you heard a big old boom. We came outside, and the building was smoking. It was really bad, too. The lightning was bad and everything. And Captain Bachelor tells me that his firefighters actually just finished training on how to pull water from nearby canals. He says that is a hugely important tool for his crews. He says that they do uh, respond to very large rural fires about three to four times a year. Reporting live, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.